Hey Malcolm, what time is it? 3.28. Why? I gotta get out of here. Where are you going? Bata has his batting practice in two minutes. Come on. He likes to do that alone. He's not gonna mess with the three of us. Well, whatever. I'm getting out of here. Whatever. You're staying, right? Uh, actually I'm about to head in. In? Inside Harwood? Yeah, there's a committee meeting after Bata's batting practice, so... What, you doing their finances now? Yeah, actually. Try not to die, Malcolm. Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. You know better than to be around here. Ah, uh, but, uh, you ought to know by now that your threats mean nothing to me. When will you ever learn? Hey, what are you doing? Can't you see what this fighting has done? My cause is just. I fight for what the people want, and the people demand an end to traitors like him. I'm fighting to restore what you destroyed. <sighs> Think about what's best for Harwood. What's best for Harwood is an end to- That's it enough! You want to make the same mistake Coyle did? The era which would become known as the Duane Dynasty was a golden age in Harwood's history. Teachers shined the light of knowledge into the hearts and minds of students, filling them with not only the ability, but the desire to help the world. It was the best of times, and only the best of times. After decades of peace and prosperity, Duane announced his retirement, and the golden days of Harwood quickly fell to a close. In all the decisions I have made in my school life, I have tried to do what was best for Harlem. And that is why on this evening, I announced my resignation of the office of principal of this great school. I believe that my time at Harwood has been well spent, but in order to grow, Harwood needs to change. I have done all that I can do here. It is time for me to move on, and it is time for Harwood to move up. Thank you. In the preceding years, Harwood's administration was plagued with incompetence, and the students began to see the tyranny of those in power. And so it began. Led by a senior thought to be a visionary, the students revolted against the teachers, against the administration, against anyone their leader deemed a threat. With their newly found power, students expelled teachers from Harwood. Oi, you Chucky, Chucky, Yaro. No! Before long, Harwood's administration was no more, leaving the once prestigious school in complete anarchy. And with no one left to fight, the students turned on each other. The student once praised as the liberator of Harwood, now blinded by greed and power, turned class against class knowing that only in this anarchy could he achieve total control. There were few who saw the corruption within him, and even fewer who had the courage to oppose him. As for me, all I want is an end to this madness. An end. It doesn't have to be this way, you know. There was a time when we lived together in peace. Those times are gone. This is what Harwood is now. You better get used to it. But we can change it. It's been done before, we can do it again. It's never been this bad before. That's why we need to help each other. What can you do for me? You want to defeat Bata, don't you? Yeah. I think I might know a guy who can help with that.
for it. 